What up people, this is Bunjo. Today we're in Croatia still, obviously. We are gonna do a cost of living, a grocery shopping video here in Croatia. How much it went up compared to when it was in Kunas to now it's in Euros. And I would say it went up quite drastically from before. So we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna go to Lidl and maybe Plodine. Two Croatian grocery stores. One is German, as in Lidl. And uh, Plodine is actually a Croatian owned grocery store. Same with Ribola and Tommy but we're gonna go check out Lidl because that's where all the cheapest stuff is and Plodine is one of the more expensive stores here but we're going to Marissa Market here in Trogir don't forget to click like subscribe and share here's the market here the mall Marissa Market Plodine so we're gonna go inside here and check out what they got today for us. Probably not gonna buy much from this store because I said it's expensive and we're on our way to Lidl to do the majority of grocery shopping. And there's Mickey and Enzo. Hello. Entering Platine. Whoopa. Let's go, huh? Should we get a buggy? Let's get a buggy. We got these little blue chips. That you put in the buggy here, hold this. These little blue chips, you can ask Lidl for these. See Lidl coin? I don't know if they can see it, but. This is something that shocked me coming from Argentina. What? We don't have this kind of thing with this, the buggies. No. She doesn't have these kind of things, but she's a, a bad camera girl. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Here, you don't want to put Enzo in the buggy? No. Oh, there's lots of music in this store as well. Yeah, so it's a shame we couldn't talk in there, but there was a little glimpse at Plodine. We weren't shopping in there anyways, because it's a little too pricey, but they had music blaring. You could barely hear yourself talk. So we couldn't film because of the copyrights and all that stuff. But now we're going up to Mueller. He's gonna ride some rides. And we're also going to Kik or Pepco. That's like where you buy baby clothes and some cheap clothes for babies and people, humans. <laughs> And here it is, this is a glimpse of the mall, it's beautiful. Enzo. <laughs> Enzo, he's going inside the, he wants to go on a little ride here. Let's get some change here, mama, for you chancho. <laughs> get some change for the baby. Enzo. Yeah, he's gonna take a little ride here. You got some Christmas ornaments up here. There's Mueller. This is like a, a nice higher priced, higher quality kind of store here. This is a good one. 
if you want good German goods. A German store, another German store. But we're gonna take a ride on this carousel. You want this? Yeah, for, seriously, since moving here, it's actually been, the price hike has been like crazy since they entered Europe and all that business. It's been crazy, it's like almost like triple, I'd say. Like, I remember you could walk out of the grocery store, it's like a week's worth of groceries for 80 kunas. That's like, what, 30 euros maybe? 20 euros? And you could have a week's worth of grocery. Now you walk out of that store, you have a few days and it's 80 euros. So it really went up. You gotta really watch out where you shop. My suggestion is stick to Lidl. Lidl's better. Coughlin's nice and has maybe more quantity of everything, but they're a little bit pricey now. And if you're coming to an island, there's island tax too. So it's better to shop inland and on, on the land instead of on an island. So that's another little tip for me. But here we go. Whoa. Enzo's taking a ride. Whoa. Yeah, like we live in Chiovo, so the Tommy there is way more expensive than a Tommy in Trogir, like on the land. So there's a little tip. Shop off the island if you can. Enzi. We're in Mueller now, looking at toys for Enzo. And we got the old caca, caca alarm, eh? You wanna get this one? We need to pronounce the actual name. <laughs> <laughs> to teach him the caca. Look at that, Mr. Hanky looks real. And of course, Enzo is super excited. But I think we're getting this for him. We're trying to find some hand tools because he likes to have like tools because when I fix up the house, he likes to grab a hammer and help me. So we're trying to find them some uh, hand tools here, like a little tool set, but they don't have any. Mueller, where's your tool sets? But this is it. Nice little toys here. They have everything you need except for a tool set. No names, six euros. Pampers, 20 euros. No names, 10 euros. We like Pampers though. You gotta get Pampers if you're getting diapers. You got all your baby oils and baby shampoos and creams, kids' bubble baths, all your good healthy food here. Minus the gravy, two euros. Canned soup, three euros. Ravioli by Maggie, not Chef Boyardee, three euros. Pretty good. 2.5 euros actually, 2.6. But we're gonna go pay for this. This is the only toy we found for Enzo. And Santa Claus is getting some kinetic sand. And that's it. And now we're on our way to Lidl. I've never seen Sprite Tic Tacs, but there they are. And here's all your little uh, stocking stuffer section. Pretty cool. Some fruit bubble gums and everything. But we're out of here. Let's go, eh? Oh, the advent calendars. Oh. I wanted one. 22, 22 euros, but they're lint chocolates. It's very good. So let's go. Cash home. So look at the view of this mall window. We're gonna check it out, but this is Pepco and that's Kick. Kick is like a dollar store kind of place. Pepco is more for children's clothes and clothes all together. But it looks like they got ugly sweaters in there. But I wanna show you guys. The beautiful view from the windows. Look how beautiful this is. You know? You got Starry Grad Trogir, you can see the cathedral. And then you got our home, Chiovo. Beautiful, huh? Mickey was just telling me it costs 40 euros so we spent 
like 10, 8 euros at um, Plodine, 15 Hi. euros at Mueller, and 40, Euro, uh, 40 euros? 40. Yeah, 40 euros in Pepco. So, it is what it is, yeah? <laughs> hot sauce, yeah, we got hot sauce, three hot dogs, two sweets, two sweets like pastries, and I think that's it, huh? That's it. And that's it. And now we're off to Lidl. Let's go check it out. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, Pepco is usually very cheap, especially like after Christmas, all the Christmas stuff, you can find stuff for like one euro. Like I remember I found a toque and some mittens for Enzo. They're like 50 cents each. 50 cent, 50 euro cents that is. So about 60 cents Canadian. <laughs> yeah, after when it's brand new, it's kind of, like regular price but then after a week or two when it's old news it goes down like 50 percent in price it's crazy so it's a pretty good store and then the one beside it kick we didn't show you you can buy like how do you like kick pepco is a little bit better eh pepco has the uh, nicer stuff yeah it's a little bit better quality and i think like kick is like more of a dollar store like very cheap stuff but you can find good deals and good stuff in there as well but now we're off to lidl and we're just walking, look at all the construction here in Trogir. It's winter, construction has started. So there's a lot of confusion. Is Croatia more expensive now or not? Obviously it is because the world is suffering from the major inflation problem. Uh, you can blame it on the Western civilization. You can blame it on whatever you want. But there is definitely inflation everywhere. So this doesn't just apply to Croatia. But I'll tell you this. The locals here compared to what they make it's hard i don't understand how some of these guys eat here because it's very hard for locals but as tourists for you guys to come here i still think it's pretty cheap and fairly priced at restaurants and all that but we're gonna go to lidl and i'll show you what i mean some places are a little bit more touristic and raise the prices we already know that but the cost of living for every person average you know the average person every day we're gonna get into that. We're gonna see what it's like. I think 90 euros at this place can get you a lot of food for a, a week and a half at least. So we're gonna go check it out. We're going to Lidl. Right there is Coughlin, the store I used to love. But the prices are way too high for us, so we needed to cut it. So there we are. There's Lidl. We're walking Lidl, we're almost there. And look at it. Wow. It's the same color as Ronaldo's new team's jerseys. He's the Lidl man. So let's get in there. There's the hours from... I don't know what the hour said. <laughs> Monday to Friday or Saturday. Ooh. So we got some oil here. 159. 67 cents for milk. grab some of that and this is Lidl we need some bread yep. how much is that bread 159 huh perfect uh, yes but it's integral and it's a uh, quality a quality a let's get it huh whoa Enzi. so yeah we got all our chocolates here all our baked goods when you first walk in the door all the no-no sections here but what do you we already got some baked goods so we don't really need any and here's some cookies enzo likes these cookies triple chocolates 1.99 and you got your little lady fingers down there a dollar 99 you got your nuts nuts are pretty expensive i'd say 74 cents for a mixed bag tiny bag not bad i'll try to get one of those and coffee this is the one we usually pick you be Yubi Larna. That's the one. Yubi Larna. Weird name, eh? That's the one we usually pick. Should we get some coffee? Yeah, sure. There's, there's none on sale, though. Nothing on sale. Yeah, sometimes it goes down to like three euros or something. But here we are, the lemons. Do we want any avocados? We need mangosteen for anything. Avocados, 129. Not bad. Got to get a good one. Get this one, it'll sit on the shelf. Mangoes 129, which is also a good price. You got your mandarins, clementines 222, and you got your oranges 129. 
or if you get a bag, a huge bag, three euros. Pretty good. And here's your vegan section. Hard skip. Vegan, I don't know, we might get some mushrooms here. You getting some tea? How much is a tea? We have some for 49 cents. 49 cents. 79 cents. Not bad, eh? So the one's down. Oh, that one. What kind do you like? I uh, we have the lemon with ginger. Maybe I can. One twenty nine, not bad. Here's this raspberry. Yeah. yeah, definitely. But this one is. Or mint and fruit berry here. Lord Nelson. Mm. Smells good. Yeah. She grabbed the expensive one. One ninety nine. It's not so expensive though. No. We're grabbing some of these mushrooms. It's one thirty a pack. Do we need any apples? Probably some lettuce. 129. Perfect, huh? And some green onions. 79 cents. Perfect. Here's some lunch meat. Do we want to get any lunch meat? It's always nice to have some lunch. Here, you want, what do you want? I like mortadella. Mortadella. But it's 274. Ooh, it's too pricey, huh? Or you have you like some pepperoni for the pizza? No, I like the one from the store that Tommy has the best one. Okay. This one's a good kielbasa. But I like the one from the big the butcher. The kielbasa from our butcher aunt auntie. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Here, get some cheese, some mozzarella balls, and some um Cheese Here's the cheese section here. You got shunka, this chunk, pancetta. I mean, shunka, slanina. Some pancetta. We'll get some toast cheese. We really like toast cheese, no? Do they got my favorite cheddar cheese? I don't think so. They don't have mozzarella. They don't have mozzarella? They don't have any mozzarella? Mozzarella and there's nothing. Maybe it's over there. Sometimes they put the mozzarella over there. Okay. Uh, oh, we we'll go check out the lunch meat, the Italian one. No mozzarella at all, huh? Yeah, usually they have like a whole section of mozzarella. Yeah, they never have Ducatos, they only have the plain ones. But this is Enzo's favorite brand of yogurt, the best one, Greek yogurt. Should we get a big one for him? No, not the, not the plain one. There's cheddar, English cheddar. Bologna. Where is all this, huh? This is 199 or 235 Some fish, 49 for two nice sized fish. Here, let's get just some pasta. Oh. Some more to dinner. Two thirty-nine for a pack. Not bad. Crunchy cheddar. Some butter. With sea salt. Some tortellini with mushrooms. These are one ninety-nine a pack. Some deluxe tortellini, ricotta truffle. Mm. Let's see this. Some Parmesan flakes. Some salami. Not bad. Gnocchi, stuffed gnocchi. What's in this one? So we got summer truffle, and then we got shrimp. One ninety nine, huh? Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, this section usually has like all the, it has like American days, Italian days, Mexican days. So they have a whole bunch of different days. And that's when you can get different sort of things from around the world. Here's some pork. Let's see. Some chicken breast. Ooh, 75. Ooh, 
expensive today. It's three sixty nine dollars pack for a half a kilo of beef. We'll get two of these bad boys. Not bad. Oh, you got those? The pudding ones, the love them, 16, each one. 60 cents? 60 cents. Should we try something like this? Sure, we'll try that. We usually don't, but we'll try it, huh? Yeah, this one was 79 each one. Perfect, I got you more today, but the Italian one. Okay, we could try. Yeah. Let's go check out some more meat. You got the pork belly here. Got the pork chops, the pork loins. And what's all this? This is tea, this is like the luxury items. Yeah. And then here we go. Got the big sausage, $6.49 a pack. Chicken wings, chicken wings, chicken, chicken, chicken. Pretty good. Yeah, it's about $1.89 for a chopped up chicken body. Chopped up chicken body, $1.49, crazy. And then legs, and here we go. The legs are about $3.99 a pack. It's not bad, the cut up filet, $4.75 a pack. And then the chicken breast, $7.5 a pack. Which is pretty pricey actually, now that I think about it. It used to be way cheaper. But I'm gonna go get some more beef, I think. Let's go to the beef section. So we got our other veggies. We got tomatoes, which the bio ones for healthy people are here. $2.29, $2.99, sorry. And the ones we like are these ones. But we're just gonna settle for these ones right now because they're already boxed up and they're easy to get to. And you got your duck. I think this is duck. This is turkey and this is chicken. A whole chicken is $2.79, not bad. And then this one, a pack of this is like $5.70. Pack of turkey. And here's some chavapis. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's try to get some of these. Mmm. Yeah, I don't know what else to get. Maybe. Hmm. Grab a pack of celery, already chopped up for 79 cents. Always good for some soups. We got broccoli, there's some spinach for $1.99. Grab some, some garlic, $1.29. The bio ones and some onions. Onions are always good. $1.69 for onions. And eggplant here. A 2.29 a kilo. So the other day we bought two giant ones for four euros, which I thought was pretty, pretty pricey. But here we are in the Christmas section, I think. Let's see what we got here. Maybe we can find some tools here for Enzo. I don't think so. But you got this guy, Goofy, 20 euros. Oh, look at this. I was gonna say that looks like LGBT tools. No, oh, thank you. Got a toaster. What else? Oh, we got some. We got some of those tools. It's pretty cool. But no tool, no tool set, just power tools, eh? I don't think so. I think this is eleven ninety nine, and this is no, this is twenty five. I was gonna say. 11.99 or 25 euros for that jesus no thank you and here's all you got your auto parts you got your tools here you got everything anything it's like, kind of like a mini walmart you know tiny walmart as they say let's go check it out take this baby for a walk this is lido this is our preferred store they don't have everything small selection but it's better priced believe me when i say this it's way better priced Let's go check out the frozen section. This section's always my favorite. Because they have like stuff like this, a salmon filet, 
a half duck, mushrooms, vegetable mixed. This one's actually pretty good. Cauliflower. You know what it is? Rough. Pistachio. Pistachio, a little desserts. Some seafood, and then their salmon puff pastry. We had that last year for Christmas. It was pretty good. And you got your uh, figs and cheese. Your figs and goat cheese pizzas for $4.49. We don't buy those. Oh, you got your waffles, your stuffed waffles. Those are pretty cool. Your stuffed waffles will charge you $3.59 for stuffed waffles. You got one with berries, apples, and chocolate. Pretty good. Look at these. Mango passion fruit. They come with the glasses. You can dip them out of. And deluxe ice cream for $5.39. And the cups of mango uh, passion fruit is $2.99. There you go up there. Mango fruit. And then uh, ice cream. Pretty cool. Any good deals? Uh, toys. 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 The Pringles are four bucks, but that's for two cans. So it's not bad. Two can Sam over here. Oh, here's some, uh, my favorite on sale stuff. <laughs> here's this. Mickey loves this. Oh, yep. That's one for Mama. That's both. Um, can we get the... the... These ones, they're not these ones. The ones that I like. What are they? We'll try these ones, huh? 239. Which one? Uh, the ones that we bought in Florida, but we can buy them frozen. What is it? The treats. The pancakes. Treats. I don't know what you're talking about. Remember the, what we bought today in Florida? Yes. We can buy them frozen. Yeah, so Danishes. She's talking about frozen Danishes. Like. And here's some gyro meat. With bread, I think. I don't know if this comes with bread. Lepinia, yeah, Giro Lepinia. So one with bread is $5.99. It's kind of pricey. Here, they're over here. And then you got all your uh, frozen potatoes, your palm frites. $6.99 for a huge pack. Pretty good deal. We like this black bag that's in uh, Tommy. Best right here. But these potato wedges, not bad either. We got the Greek puff pastries and some carrots and some macarons for $11.99, extra large. And here's some more slotto lead for Enzo. Enzo loves slotto lead. So this, huh, I think this one would be good for him. Fusions, okay? He loves this. $2.99 or should we get a big one? A big one, eh? We'll get this one. This one's three forty nine, I think. Hey, eh? three forty nine. Okay. What else should we get? It's hard to actually shop with the camera. It's crazy. So we got some sweet potato fries, some veggie fries. You want some sweet potato fries? Oh, I love sweet potato fries. Let's get some then. There's only one, one option. When she says she loves them. Gotta get them. How about uh, potatoes? Potato fries. Not bad, but I, I don't like these ones, to be honest with you. Um, well, these things are good. Croquets, they're like stuffed mashed potatoes. It's like mashed potatoes, but like huge little finger fries. It's, they're pretty good. These ones, I'm gonna go on this side, Mickey. And let's see what this is actually. I never looked at this stuff yet. What's this? Pineapples in a can? What the heck? Some potatoes, some fried potatoes. Oh, did you get butter? Let's go check butter section here. The butter section. You got all your vanillas. Do we need flour too. Okay. Do you do we need vanilla? Yeah, vanilla is what? $2.59 for a little extract. And you got all your baking powder. We'll get some baking powder here. 30 cents. And where's the butter? Let's see the butter here. Domachi butter. Homemade butter. Ooh, looks like the butter is all gone. No butter. Dang. Oh, we got this butter. But this is... 
$1.99, it's not bad. We'll get two butters, eh? 82% butter, not bad. But that's it, huh? Let's go check out something else. Let's go check out the, another fun section that I enjoy here. Let's see this. This is also another little section where you can get all the dry goods from like, like this is supposed to be like American popcorn, cashew spray, American items. Uh, you can get bean sprouts. These are always a good one because we cook Asian food. And here it is, Arabasca. $3.99. So four euros for some coffee. Some Halloween candy, trick or treat. It's over, but it's a good time to buy them, huh? What else do we need here? Yeah. And here's the party box. This is liquor. So for this gin, I think this is $6.99, 7 euros for gin. Uh, you can buy this uh, for 4 euros, 7 euros for vodka. It's pretty good, eh? 7 euros for vodka? Jeez. Damn, I might become a vodka drinker tonight, eh? No, you can't. <laughs> uh, here's some toys. Any of these? Any tool sets? Uh, yes, and to grab a train. A train? And to grab the train. Let's go see. Let's see. Not bad, eh? No, Just the train? Um, this one. Not bad, eh? $5.99? But it's a wood one. Perfect. Let's go shop. I'm going to turn this off. I just showed you around the store. I'm going to show you the liquor section, what toilet paper and all that costs too, but I just, we need to shop for real. So here's the rice. We got basmati for a buck 80. We got long grain rice for a buck 99. I'm getting little uh, pepperonis for a dollar 99. Here's some uh, polenta. You got all your little herbs here, huh? And here's your tomato sauces. Let's check out some raichitsa, eh? Raichitsa, mama. Can of beans, perfect for a salad. Oh, Boom. Beautiful. And then we got, um, do we got chopped tomatoes here? Boom. 99 cents, these always come in handy. With the moussaka. And we got some corn, we'll probably grab a can of corn. Kukurus. Boom, 139. Some peas, 109. Boom. Got it. Prashada. That's it, huh? Let's keep this train going. Do we need any uh, elbow noodles or anything? And here's this, some chow mein. Pretty cool, I didn't even know that six. Oh, we got this, a huge bag, six, what, 69 cents. Boom, perfect, 69 cents. Ketchup, some mild ketchup, some hot ketchup. We need some senf. Do they got senf here? Majonnaise, I don't know. I think they're over there, probably. Majonnaise, oh yeah, we need majonnaise. Puna? Puna? Tuna. <laughs> tuna. Yeah, I see tuna. So tuna is one, right here, boom, 119, huh? We'll grab two cans of tuna, 119. I'm gonna grab another basmati too. Let's put some more basmati in there. Now let's go check out the beer section for a six pack of this beer. Perlenbacher, 549, not for me. But here we are, Ojusko, that's my beer. Unfortunately, it's expensive. Tuborg, 649. We're gonna grab some Tuborg. Then you got your craft beer for 135. But yeah, we're gonna grab some beer here. And here's. <laughs> Your Aperols, $16.99. Then you got all your wines, $6, $3, $4, $3, $9. Ooh, $9. We're talking expensive, fancy stuff today. But let's get some Tuborg, stuff that's on sale. I mean, here we go, right? $6.49, can't go wrong. Actually, in the summertime when it was on sale, it was only $5.99, it's 50 more cents. Jeez, eh? What are these guys doing to us? Well, let's go to the next section. 
And look at the wine. This is all like the cheaper one. $3.99, $5.99. We got, look at, you can buy the cheaper stuff at the bottom. You can buy the box wine, box for $6. Not bad. Some pate for 85 cents. If you guys want some meat spread in a can, lechon for $1.99. Lechon in a can, $1.99? Wow, what a deal. Let's get out of here. But we're gonna get out of here and end this, eh? We're ending this, say bye. bye. What do you think of Lidl? I like Lidl, it's cheap, it has a lot of uh, options. Except for mayonnaise, I can't find the mayonnaise anywhere. Oh, mayonnaise is over here, let me go. I know exactly where it is. <laughs> right here, mayonnaise. Here is the mayonnaise. This is another thing that shocked me. Why do they sell mayonnaise like a toothpaste? In a two. Toothpaste. toothpaste, toothpaste mayonnaise. I don't know, that's it though. Are you getting one? Uh, I guess one of these. You don't like this one? Yes. Yeah, this one's good. And then that's it, eh? And we're out of here. We're gonna tell you how much it costs, all the stuff we got, how much it costs. And then see if you guys agree if it's expensive or cheap. We don't know, we think it's kind of cheap here, but also for Croatian people that live here, food is very expensive. So all this stuff came to about 173 so that's quite more than I thought it was going to be. Prices went up again for sure. But 173 for like two weeks of meals, not bad. So it's about 80 bucks a week, 85 bucks a week. So it's pretty good. That's Lidl in Croatia. That's the Trogir Lidl right beside the airport in Trogir and Castella. But here we are. Now we're going to load these in the fridge and that's it.